I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on coordinate geometry. We have a wonderful test question here, which is an application of midpoint. You can always pause the video, copy the question, answer, and then look into my suggestions. The question here is The midpoints of the sides of a triangle have coordinates A, 3, 1, B, minus 1, 2, and C, 1, minus 3. Determine the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle. So let's sketch the triangle first and then we'll work on this. Let us say that's the triangle whose midpoints are given to us. So midpoints, let's say A, is given to us as 3, 1, B is minus 1, 2 and C is 1 minus 3. We need to find the vertices, that is D, E, and F. Okay, so let this be D. We can call this as X1, Y1, E, X2, Y2, and F, X3, Y3. So that is what we need to find. Well, in general, uh, we have the midpoint formula. Let me write down the midpoint formula here. Which basically is that the average of the x values and the y values, we can always say like this. x1 plus x2 divided by 2 is equal to what? So x1 plus x2 divided by 2 will be 1 in this case, correct? And y1 plus y2 divided by 2 is going to be the y value of c, which is minus 3. So if I cross multiply, I get x1 plus x2 equals to 2 times 1 and y1 plus y2 as 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6. Correct? So I get one equation relating x1, x2 and y1, y2. Well, I could do this for all the three points. Correct? So so next time, let's take these two. So we say x2 plus x3 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So that means x2 plus x3 is 6. And we have y2 plus y3 divided by 2 is 1. So, so we have y2 plus y3 equals to 2. Right? And uh, similarly, x1 and x3, so we have x1 plus x3 divided by 2 is minus 1, x1 plus x3 is minus 2, and y1 plus y3 divided by 2 is 2, y1 plus y3 is 2 times 2, which is 4. So, as you can see, we get these uh, three equations which uh, relate x1, x2, y1, y2, right, all these. Now what happens when I add equation 1, 2, and 3? That is interesting. See, what we have here is something like this. We are writing x1 plus x2 equals to 2, right? y1 plus y2 equals to minus 6. Then we got x2 plus x3 equals to 6, y2 plus y3 equals to 2, and we get x3 plus x1 minus 2, and y1 plus y3 as equals to 4. Now if I add them, then we get twice x1, twice x2, and twice x3. I rewrote this just to show you clearly that we get two times all these values, right? So we get two times x1 plus x2 plus x3 as equal to add them all which is 6 or x1 plus x2 plus x3 is half of 6 which is 3. Here we get y1 plus y2 plus y3 two times right because when you add it is twice and that is 0 and so we get y1 plus y2 plus y3 equals to 0. 0 divided by anything will be 0. 
So that should help you to get your answers, right? So this is kind of a very critical equation which gives us all the answers. So we can say that if I want what is x1 from 3, I have to take out sum of x2 and x3, right? So, so we can say x1 is equals to 3 minus x2 plus x3, clear? So which is basically 3 minus, what is x2 plus x3? It is 6. So that is minus 3. Similarly, I can say what is x2? x2 will be 3 minus x1 and x3, right? So which is minus 2. So when I do minus 2, I get 5. And x3 will be 3 minus x1 and x2 sum, which is 2. So we get 1, right? So we get one set of x values. Now, similarly, y1 will be 0 minus the sum of y2 and y3 which is 2, so we get minus 2. y2 will be 0 minus sum of y1 and y3, which is 4. So we get minus 4, and y3 is 0 minus sum of y1, y2, which is minus 6. So we get plus 6. Do you see that part? So now we can easily write down our coordinates. d is x1, d is x1, y1, so it is minus 3, minus 2. E is x2 and y2, so it is 5 and minus 4. And f, which is 1 and 6. Right, so, so that is how we get all the points. It does make sense to you. So these are simple steps to understand how to solve such a question. It's kind of uh, easy to do now, right, once you understand the strategy, and that is, in such cases, this is critical. Add them all to get the sum, and then it becomes easy to eliminate and find the solution. So I hope you understand this strategy. Feel free to make your suggestions. If you have questions, you can always post them in the comments. Share my videos with your friends, and if you like and subscribe to them, that'd be great. Thanks for your time, and all the best.